Hello, it's Philip from Easy Unreal and welcome to the channel. In this video will show you how to use Mesh Paint tool with Mega Scans materials in Unreal Engine 5. This is different from the landscape painting tool which you can check out in this video. So let's start. First of all we need some materials. An easy way to obtain them is to go to the green add button and go Quixel Bridge. Over here we will download three different surfaces. Choose what you like. I'll go with these three. Download them and add them to the project. If we go back to the Unreal Engine we can see our materials here. But to make things easier we will filter only material instances. To do that go to the Asset Filter, Material, Material Instance. You can see your three materials now. We have our materials, now let's create a material blend. This will allow us to paint on our mesh with different materials. Go back to Mega Scans and select any surface, it doesn't matter. And click this settings icon. This window is a tool for creating a material blend. You can see the create material blend button. But we need to select our materials first. Now one important thing, our materials work as layers just like in painting programs like Photoshop. But we need to be careful to select our materials in the correct order. This means that the first material we select will be our base layer, the second will be on top of the first and the third on top of the second. So let's select our materials in the order we want. Hold Ctrl and click to multiple select. Click Create Material Blend. You may get this error that says current material blending setup doesn't support more than three material instances. If you get this error keep watching, we have a quick fix for this. For those who got this error, first thing is to select your base material only, not the three of them. Click on the settings icon, over here name your material. And choose the destination path to be content folder. Click create material blend. Go to the content folder and you will see your created material. Open your material blend. Over here you can see your base layer. And if you open your base material, you can see that these textures correspondent with textures in your blend material. We have to enable middle layer textures. And go to your second material from Mega Scans and just drag and drop textures. Do this for the top layer also. The last is to enable the Puddle layer. And make sure to save it. To be able to paint we need to create a mesh. To do that go to the drop down menu and choose modeling. Over here go to the rectangle tool. And before you place it in the level we need to add subdivisions. This way we can increase the number of polygons by dividing our rectangle mesh. This process helps smooth our surfaces and enhance the overall visual quality of the mesh. To be able to see this, go to Lit button here and change it to Wireframe. You can see that we don't have enough polygons. To subdivide them, change values on the left under the subdivisions. Bear in mind that this will have an impact on your performance depending on how much subdivision you use. When you are done, place it and hit Accept. You can go back to lit mode. And go back to selection mode and position your mesh how you want. To start painting, just drag and drop your blend material onto the plane. Go to mesh paint editing mode. Select paint. Over here you can change the size and strength of the brush. Down here make sure to hit this switch icon so the black color is up. As you can see black color is for painting and white for erasing. So change them accordingly. To access your layers and choose which one to paint with, you can enable or disable channels. For example, select only the red layer and paint over the mesh. Or select only green to paint with the top layer. To erase your paint, hold the shift key and paint. With a blue channel you can add puddles. To change the Puddle properties, double click the Material Blend, type in Puddle. 
In the liquid color, you can change the puddle color. To change smoothness or amount of blending, you can double click your material blend and type in blend. Over here we have some options to play with, so if you enable top layer blend, you can change the amount, contrast or fall off. This works with the base and middle layers also. And this is how you easily use Mesh Painting tool with Megascans assets. I hope you learned something new and useful from this video. If you like this tutorial, feel free to check out my other tutorials about Unreal Engine 5 in the playlist in the description. Thanks for watching and bye bye.